using the PowerShell help system. Hi, I'm Don Jones, and you might think that PowerShell is kind of complicated to use, and that can kind of be true, but the fact is, it's willing to help you learn how to use it. You just have to know how to use its built-in help system. PowerShell's built-in help functionality is an important part of its discovery feature set. And what do I mean by discovery? Well, let's say I need to accomplish some command. I want to get some event log entries. All right, well, I can use the help command with wildcards, and I'm just gonna look for event. And that returns a lot of different things, but if I kind of scroll through here, I see get win event, that might be good. Get event might be good. There was get event log too. So let's look at the help for some of those individual commands. We'll start with get event log. That one has the most likely sounding name. Gets the events in an event log or a list of the event logs on the local remote computer. Well, you know what? I'm not much for reading the manual, so let's just get rid of that and run get event log. Oh, it's prompting me for a log name. Well, all right. Maybe I do have to go read the help on this thing. I recommend that when you read the help, you either run it with the minus full parameter, which will give you a complete breakdown of all the help, or, and this is what I really like to do, in PowerShell version three, the show window, because it pops it up in a separate little window. And if you've got a second monitor, you can actually float it off to the side so that you can read the help for the command as you're using the command. So let's see here. I'll uh, shrink my window a little bit so I can see these two side by side. Let's scroll down to the bottom where I know the examples are. I don't really want to read all the help. Example one, list the event logs. Okay, get event log minus list. Oh, and there's the log names. All right, so I've got security, application. I'm used to those. So maybe that's what it was asking me for. Get event log log name, I'm looking at example two off to the right hand side now, log name security. And it looks like according to example number two, I can just retrieve the newest few, we'll get the newest 10. There's another important discovery feature here that I've, I've been using. When I type get event and I start hitting tab, PowerShell will tab through the available matches to that. So I don't have to type the whole thing. When I get to a parameter, just type a little bit of it and hit tab. I can hit tab to complete the security name. So really very little typing here and it works through for me. Of course, I've got to scroll over to see a lot of that, but that's okay. So let's take a look at, at what some of this syntax little hints mean. Whenever you see a parameter like this one that's completely contained within square brackets, it means that that parameter is optional. You don't have to use that parameter to run the command. We are looking at two different parameter sets. Here's the first one, and here's the second one. The second one is the one that has the minus list parameter. And that means if I choose to use minus list, I'm stuck in this parameter set. I cannot borrow any of the parameters from this parameter set. So if I choose to use minus list to get a list of event logs, I cannot also use minus newest. I can't use entry type. I can't use log name. I could use computer name because it appears in the same parameter set as minus list. Sometimes you'll see a parameter like this one. The whole parameter is not in square brackets. That means it's mandatory. And that's why when I ran get event log earlier, it prompted me for an event log name. But just the name of the parameter, the minus log name part, that is in square brackets. That means it's a positional parameter. Instead of typing get event log, minus log name something, I can just put the log name in the first position. The minus log name is actually understood, it's implicit, because it's in square brackets, so long as I include it in the first position. Let's just get the newest five. Now, a big mistake folks will make is they'll do something like this. I want the newest five from application. Yeah, see, that won't work. Log name, if you're not gonna type minus log name, has to go in the first position. In fact, one of the reasons I like just always typing the parameter names no matter what is because if I type the parameter name, I can put them in any order I want to. I don't have to remember the correct order. The command will still work. And because I can use tab completion, get event log minus tab, 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 will take me through all of them. It's not actually any harder to type out the parameter names and it does make it well, a lot clearer and a lot harder to mess up. I hope this has been informative for you. 
and I'd like to thank you for viewing.